and they're like, so you're new here? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, do you smoke? I'm like, no. Girl, you'll be smoking in a few months. So I'm like, um, okay, maybe. <laughs> but you know that's just me you know and they're like yeah you have a vice one way or the other by the time you know you get out of here and I'm just like I don't know you know hopefully I don't right but um, nurses we're supposed to produce uh, we're supposed to promote health care but they're like the number one smokers alcoholics drug addicts and stuff you know easy access you know so yeah so they um, but once again, we go back to once you have that root of Christ, you know, you're not easily tempted. You're like, hey, I can fight it as long as I have Jesus in me. Corny, right? I got Jesus, yeah. But it's really true. If you got Jesus in you, it's be like, um, you think twice about doing something bad. Um, and same thing, you know. That's why God's plan is not happening in families because God is not in the center of families. Um, children nowadays can just go off, do whatever you want, because families need, um, mom and dad needs to earn like money so that they can support their children. Uh, you can't just be the dad working, you have to have the mom working too, so that you can give them a good life, a nice house, four bedroom house, three bathrooms, in like Santa Clarita. Look, you know, there's fire there. <laughs> Bad joke? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry <Jared. laughs> Um Anyways, um, yeah, it's on the go. Like, um, in, I was reading in Singapore, you know, um, people there live such a fast-paced life, they just work, 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 that they don't have time to have families, that the government decided that they have, like, you know, days where they have, you know, single people go on dates. It's like a mandate, you know, because they want them to have more population, a, a greater population because population is low in Singapore and how can you, you know, populate your country if you're not, you're just working, right? You can't like procreate, right? So you can't procreate with your computer or anything, you know, so. Hey, this is the reality, we're adults, right? Um, this is what's happening in today's society. Um, also, uh, husbands and wives don't follow God's plan. There's a confusion in roles today. Um, because it's hard, you know, it's hard uh, for just sometimes like husbands don't find jobs, so wives have to work. And because of that, you know, more independent women, Beyonce and like Neo said, you know, whatever. Um, we, uh, we, we feel that, all right, we have more power than our men, you know, than our husbands. But that's not the case. A good Christian family needs to have men and women supporting each other. Um, and building each other up. Um, also, we become materialistic in today's society. Um, we have to have the newest gadget, the newest thing, um, iPhone, whatever, I don't know. I have a razor, <laughs> like the old model. Um, you have to have like a plasma or, sorry, I'm not in with the, whatever, what else? Blu-ray, okay, I don't know. Uh, I have a DVD player, Apex. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, MacBook, all those things. Um, yeah, you need, you know, you need to keep up with the time, so you need to work harder. Less time on family. Um, also, instead of spending time with people you love, you know, um, You'd rather be watching TV because there's so many good shows, or you'd be like, you know, on the internet, G-chatting, um, or whatever. I don't know what other things are being done in the internet, you know? Um, also, family is just not family anymore. It's not husband and wife. You can just live in together, and that's okay, because, hey, we're family. We don't have to get married. Um, that's cool and all. But what happens if you get pregnant? Then you'll have abortion because sometimes you don't want to have a kid. You just want to live in with your, um, with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Um, or sometimes you do have a family, and you know what tends to happen is you don't want to work it out, so you have a divorce or you separate. 
Um, and nothing against um, single parent families, but uh, it's not easy, you know? I have friends who have single parent families, and it's not the easiest kind of um, setup, you know? But that's something that you have to deal with. Um, family is becoming dispensable. Uh, the importance of staying together is not being stressed out. Uh, the family is under attack by evil forces. Evil forces like um, outside forces like school uh, or um, friends and stuff. Um, you meet people every day who can either bring you up or bring you down. But it's your choice. If you have that family rooted in Christ, then you can draw your family in, as opposed to them going to that. Going back to you know my story in the beginning, where um, I worked with kids who were involved in prostitution, they ran away from homes. You know, they ran away from their home because they were getting abused by their father, even their mothers, and the only solution they had was that they'd run away from home. So they go out into society, they go out into the world, and they wind up on like Sepulveda Boulevard. Um, I'm from the valley, so Sepulveda, if you go down there, there's a lot of prostitution over there. So they walk, you know, and then some, some, some guy comes up to them and is like, hey, are you, uh, um, are you okay? How are you, you know? And they're like, I'm okay. This is a 13-year-old girl um, who's vulnerable and lost. So the guy, okay, come on, I'll, I'll give you something to eat. You know, you need a place to stay, and that's day one. Eventually, uh, you want to stay here longer? You need to, you need to help me out. Oh, but I don't have money. I can't work. It's okay. I have something for you. Just um, you can. I have this guy. You know, you can sleep with him. Um, and it's like, oh, but that's wrong. It's like, no, it's okay. You can just do it for one time. You know, one time only. And it's like, okay, but once turns into twice and then turns into a lot of times. And that's what happens. It starts at home, because we don't, we don't spend enough time, we don't give the love that is needed in families. So, what can we do, you know? You're here tonight, um, you're still singles for credit, you're still single, people. Um, and you don't have your own families, your own families, but you may have you know, you're still a child to your mom and dad, you have siblings, um, and I don't know how your relationship is with them, but, you know, we need to be, if your family is not um, as rooted in Christ as should be, maybe we need to think about how we can, you know, be that source of love in our families. Uh, it's not easy. Um, sometimes, you know, um, there's arguments, disagreements in families, or there's like times when we just don't want to deal with our families. It's not easy, but we have to make the choice, you know, because we're hearing about it. You come here every Friday, every Saturday, and you hear about having God in your life, having that Christian, you know, life, you know. So we have to make the choice, um, not just for ourselves, but for the people we love, because we we need aside, you know, we need to have two goals in life to get to heaven and to bring those we love to heaven with us. But, and how do we do that? By spreading the love we feel to those we love. Um, background about me. I'm the second child of five, we're five, there's five of us. Um, and our family is in, my parents are in Couples for Christ. So I'm in, I was, you know, I'm in Singles for Christ. My parents are in Couples for Christ. My sister is in... Oh,